Welcome to Amazing Life One Channel Guides Today you watching Chloe Grace Moritz American Actress Lifestyle Biography and Beautiful Photos I hope you enjoy this video like share subscribe channel thank you for watching video you have any question please comment. Biography Chloe Grace Moritz born February 10, 1997, is an American actress. She is the recipient of various accolades, including four MTV Movie and TV Awards, two People's Choice Awards, two Saturn Awards, and two Young Artist Awards. Chloe Grace Moritz Moritz in 2018 born February 10, 1997, age 25, Atlanta, Georgia, U.S. Occupation Actress Years Active 2004 Present Words Full List She began acting as a child, with early roles in the supernatural horror film The Amityville Horror, 2005, the drama series Desperate Housewives, 2006-07, the supernatural horror film The Eye, 2008, the drama film The Poker House, 2008, the drama series Dirty Sexy Money, 2007-08, the romantic comedy film 500 Days of Summer, 2009, and the children's comedy film Diary of a Wimpy Kid, 2010-2. Her breakthrough came in 2010 with her critically acclaimed performances as hit girl in the superhero film Kick-Ass and as a child vampire in the horror film Let Me In. Moritz starred in Martin Scorsese's historical adventure film Hugo 2011. Tim Burton's horror comedy film Dark Shadows 2012, the satirical sitcom 30 Rock 2011-2013 reprised her role as hit girl in Kick-Ass 2 2013 and portrayed Carrie White in the supernatural horror film Carrie 2013. In 2014, Moritz starred in the award-winning drama film Clouds of Sills Maria 2014, the teen romantic drama If I Stay 2014, and the vigilante action film The Equalizer 2014. She also starred in the mystery thriller film Dark Places 2015, the science fiction action film The Fifth Wave 2016, and the comedy film Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising 2016. In 2016, Moritz announced she was reassessing her choice of roles and was dropping out of several projects, including Universal Studios' live-action adaptation of The Little Mermaid. 3. Moritz's following roles include the drama film The Miseducation of Cameron Post 2018. Neil Jordan's drama thriller film Greta 2018, the action horror film Shadow in the Cloud 2020, and the science fiction film Mother Android 2021. She voiced Wednesday Addams in The Addams Family 2019 and The Addams Family 2 2021. Mortz's stage work includes her starring role in the original off-Broadway production of The Library 2014 at the Public Theater in New York City. Early life Moritz was born in Atlanta, Georgia, and raised in Cartersville, Georgia. 4. Her mother, Terry Duke, 5, is a nurse practitioner, and her father, Dr. McCoy, Mac, Moritz 1957-2021, was a plastic surgeon, an heir to the Moritz hosiery business, bought out in 2011 for $350 million. 6, 7, 8, 9. She has four older brothers, Brandon, Trevor, Colin, and Ethan, 10, an older sister, Kathleen, died shortly after birth. 11, 12. She has described her family as, very Christian, specifically Southern Baptist, 13, 14. She moved to New York City in 2002, with her mother and brother Trevor, because he had been accepted into the Professional Performing Arts School, which is what first drew her interest in acting. Moritz would help Trevor read lines. 15th Personal Life Moritz resides in Studio City, Los Angeles, 72-73. Her brother Brandon serves as her business manager, 74. Her brother Trevor has been her acting coach since 2010 and accompanied her on trips and press dates when her parents were unable to attend. 75. She previously dated English model and photographer Brooklyn Beckham. 76. She attended the 2016 Democratic National Convention with Beckham in support of Hillary Clinton. 77. She confirmed that she and Beckham had broken up in 2018. 78. Career 2004-2015. Early roles and breakthrough Moritz in April 2009 Moritz's first acting role was as Violet in two episodes of the CBS series The Guardian, and her first film role was as Molly in Heart of the Beholder. It was not until her second big screen acting role, in the 2005 remake of the Amityville Horror, that she earned greater recognition, receiving a Young Artist Award nomination. 16. After Amityville, Moritz received several guest-starring roles on TV, as well as a small role in Big Mama's House 2. 
Her recurring TV characters include Kiki George in Dirty Sexy Money and Sherry Maltby in Desperate Housewives. Moritz also voiced the US version of the animated character Darby in My Friends Tigger and Pooh. Moritz also co-starred as Cammy, an abused child, in The Poker House. 17. In 2010, Moritz appeared as hit girl in director Matthew Vaughn's action film Kick Ass, based on the comic book series of the same name by Mark Miller and John Romita Jr. Moritz trained with Jackie Chan's stunt crew for three months prior to filming and did most of her own stunts while filming on location. 18. Because of her youth, there was controversy about her role in the violent film. She received critical acclaim for her performance. Roger Ebert gave the film only one star, 19, but wrote about Moritz. Say what you will about her character, but Chloe Grace Moritz has presence and appeal. That same year, she played Abby, a 12-year-old vampire, in Let Me In 2010-20, the UK-US remake of the Swedish film Let The Right One In. 21 Moritz played Anne Sliger in the 2011 crime thriller Texas Killing Fields. 22. That same year, she played Isabel in Martin Scorsese's Hugo, a 3D film adaptation of The Invention of Hugo Cabret, 23, which was nominated for 11 Oscars. Moritz starred in Hick, an adaptation of the novel by Andrea Portz, 24. She appeared in the 2012 Tim Burton film Dark Shadows, a remake of the soap opera, playing the role of Carolyn Stoddard, 25-26, a rebellious teenage daughter. In 2013, she reprised her role as hit girl in the sequel Kick-Ass 2, 27. The same year, she appeared in a short segment in the film movie 43, 28, and played the title character in Carrie, a remake of the 1976 film, directed by Kimberly Pierce. 29th Moritz at the L Style Awards in 2013 Moritz has done voice work for video games. She reprised her role as hit girl for Kick-Ass, the game, and played young lady Emily in Dishonored. 30. When asked in October 2012 why she tends to gravitate towards playing darker, troubled characters, Moritz responded that she has such a happy family life, and finds it challenging to play characters who are significantly different. 31. From March 25th through April 27, 2014, Moritz made her off-Broadway debut in The Library, directed by Steven Soderbergh. 32-33, Moritz played the protagonist, Mia, in the adaptation of Gail Foreman's If I State 2014. The story follows a 17-year-old classical musician as she deals with the aftermath of a catastrophic car accident involving her family and has an out-of-body experience. 34. Critical response to the film was mixed, a 35% positive rating based on 122 reviews and an average rating of 5 tenths garnered by Rotten Tomatoes was accompanied by a critic's consensus praising Moritz for giving the performance, for all, 35. Moritz subsequently starred as Cassie Sullivan in The Fifth Wave, an adaptation of the best-selling novel by Rick Yancey. The film was released in January 2016, 36. Hannah Minghella of Sony Pictures said Moritz, embodies the heart, strength and determination that make Cassie such a compelling character. 37, 2016 present. Reassessment and current work in April 2016, Moritz was chosen to serve as one of three members of the narrative short film competition jury for the Tribeca Film Festival, alongside Mike Berbiglia and Sheila Nevins. 38. Also that year, she co-starred with Zac Efron and Seth Rogen in the film Neighbors 2. Sorority Rising, the sequel to Neighbors, 39, and headlined the drama film Brain on Fire. Based on the memoir Brain on Fire by Susanna Cahillan, 40, in November 2015, Moritz was attached to Shane Carruth's third film, The Modern Ocean. The ensemble cast includes Asa Butterfield, Anne Hathaway, Daniel Radcliffe and Keanu Reeves, 41. Also in November, Moritz was announced as the star of Universal Studios' live-action version of Hans Christian Andersen's The Little Mermaid, to be written by Richard Curtis, though she later left the project. 42. In a 2016 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Moritz revealed she had dropped out of all the unproduced film projects she was attached to. 43. The only announced film this affected was The Little Mermaid, since several other films she was slated to appear in were already in post-production. She explained, I want to reassess who I am and find myself within my roles again. I'm realizing that I can slow down. 43. She said the workload that came from being in several films a year, 
was causing her to lose sight of the reason she started acting and instead focus on her film's box office receipts 43. She stated she would focus on producing, including two television projects, 43. This was taken by some media outlets as more it's taking a hiatus from acting, 44, so in a later interview, she clarified that she was not taking time off, saying, I'm just becoming more picky and particular about what roles I'm choosing. I think as an actor you have a huge opportunity to find yourself through the roles that you choose. I think it's my time, right now in my life, to figure out who I am and what I am and what I want and what this industry means. Why not sit back, slow down, realize I'm 19 and go, hey, let's make stuff that really, really hits hard with who I am and helps me figure out what it means to be a 19-year-old actor who is just doing her thing. 45, in 2017, Moritz co-starred again with Ansel Elgort in the crime drama November Criminals, 46. That same year, she starred in the comedy drama I Love You, Daddy, directed by Louis C.K., which had its world premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival, where it received negative reviews from critics, 47. Following sexual misconduct allegations against CK the film's release was cancelled by media company The Orchard, which had acquired US distribution rights to the film as well as international distributors, 48-49. In the aftermath of the scandal, Moritz stated, I think it should just kind of go away, honestly. I don't think it's time for them to have a voice right now, referring to men accused of sexual misconduct. Of course, it's devastating to put time into a project and have it disappear. B. Ood at the same time, this Me Too movement is so powerful and so progressive that I'm just happy to be in communication with everyone and to see the big change in the face of the industry, which I think is very, very real. 50. In 2018, Moritz starred in the drama film The Miseducation of Cameron Post opposite Sasha Lane and Forrest Goodluck revolving around a teenage girl who is sent to a conversion camp. 51. The film received positive reviews from critics, praising Mortz's performance. 52. It had its world premiere at the Sundance Film Festival, where it won the Grand Jury Prize. 53. The film was released on August 3, 2018, by Filmrise. 54. She next appeared in the horror film Suspiria, a remake of the 1977 film of the same name directed by Luca Guadagnino which had its world premiere at the Venice Film Festival in September 2018. 55. It received mixed reviews from critics, and performed poorly at the box office. 56-57. She then starred opposite Isabel Huppert in Greta, a thriller film, which had its world premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival in September 2018. 58-59. It was released on March 1, 2019, by Focus Features. 60. In 2019, Moritz voiced Wednesday Addams in the CGI animated film The Addams Family, which received mixed reviews from critics. 61-62. In 2021, she appeared in the live-action animated film Tom and Jerry, directed by Tim Story. 63. Shadow in the Cloud, a horror thriller directed by Roseanne Liang, 64, and the sequel The Addams Family 2. She signed on for a role in Matson Tomlin's first film as director, Mother, Android, 65, and a P. 